What surprised me most about what the Numerati were doing was their ability to jump from one domain to the other. You know, we usually think that people who deal in advertising deal in advertising, people who deal in physics deal in physics. In the Numerati, I met this guy at Microsoft Research named David Heckerman. Now, he was trying to build a system to protect email from spam. And as he was doing this, he began trying to figure out how the spammers were altering the spam to get through his defenses. So what he had to do was to anticipate mutations of spam. Now Heckerman is also an MD and he said, you know, if I can anticipate mutations of these types of systems, maybe I can use the, exactly the same algorithm to model HIV, the virus that causes AIDS. So he jumped. He jumped from spam into, into the battle against AIDS and Microsoft is right there with him. And what's really surprising is that the numerati can make these jumps because the underlying mathematics and sometimes the algorithms are the same from one domain to the other. It's really exciting because a breakthrough in one area can cause a breakthrough that you don't expect in another. It can be really inspiring. And one of my, one of my sources told me that he thinks the next Jonas Salk uh, will not be a doctor but a, a mathematician because they're going to find these, they're going to find the secrets in the, by, through the analysis of this data.